Hello and welcome to AHAVTS.com, in association with Aliblogger.tech, brings you this clipcast on adding Arista device images into EVNG. My name is Aleem HLE, and oh, by the way, I'm this handsome gentleman to the right. And in this clipcast, we'll be adding Arista device images into the EVNG network simulator. From there, we'll go ahead and verify the Arista switch operations by creating a lab, adding an Arista switch to that lab, powering it up, and making sure that it's operating successfully within EVNG. So, let's get started. All right, as shown on the screen, I'm in the console session of the EVNG appliance. First thing we need to do is go ahead and download the VEOS image as well as the Aboot ISO from the Arista's support download page. From there, we'll go ahead and SCP the software onto the appliance itself as shown on the screen. As you can see, I transferred over the Aboot ISO as well as several VEOS images. We'll go ahead and verify by issuing an LS on the appliance, and there we have it. Next, we'll go ahead and create a temp directory, then convert the VEOS VMDK image into a QCOW2 image, and then transfer the Aboot ISO and the new QCOW2 image into a directory specified for the VEOS appliance. So the first thing I'll do here is create a directory, temp, and CD into that directory, and then I'll issue the following command. So it's opt, followed by kemu, followed by bin, followed by kemu img, then convert hyphen f vmdk hyphen capital O qcow2. Then we'll go ahead one directory back and the image to which we are going to convert. So let's see, I'll go ahead and convert to 4.19, then hda.qcow2. Hit into here, and couldn't access the file because it's too large. Well, that's because I should have just did that. Okay, so now it's converting that VMDK into a qcow2 image. It's done. So now let's go ahead and create a directory to where we would place this appliance, and I use the following command. Okay, so it's make directory hyphen p, then opt, followed by unit lab, followed by add-ons, then kemu, and now the name of the appliance specific to EVNG. So this would be VEOS hyphen 4.19.0f, then I'll hit enter here, and I'll go ahead and move that QCOW2 image, so it's MV HDA. I just copied this section here, hit enter, and now it's moved. Now I'll go ahead and move the Aboot ISO, so it'll be MV, go back one directory, Aboot ISO, Go ahead and copy this section here. And then I'll rename that Aboot ISO to CD-ROM ISO. Hit under here, and we're good to go. So I'll go ahead and verify this by changing directories. Next, I'll do an LS, and there we have a QCOW2 image as well as our ISO. From here, let's go ahead and open up the EVNG dashboard, create a lab, and then create a node with this image. Okay, so let me bring up the EVNG dashboard. The username is admin followed by the password of Eve. Now I'm going to create a new lab. I'll just name this Arista. One, one. Author is myself. Click save. Click the plus, add a node. And let's check this out here. Notice all the other templates are not highlighted, and that's because we don't have images thus far for those. However, Arista VEOS is. So I'll click on that, click the template, and now we have our image here. 
let's go ahead and see if our image is here that we just transferred over. And yes, it is. As you can see, I have several images here. And our 4.19.of is here. So I'll click on that one. We'll just name this VEOS1. Scroll on to the bottom. Tell that session is all good. So we'll save. And at the same token, I'll go ahead and add one or two more. So add node. The rest of VEOS. I'll choose uh, the 13, 4.13. Name this two. Click save. I'll do one more. Now with the 4.21. Three. Tell them that and we're good to go. So now we'll go ahead and connect them. Create a connection here, Ethernet one to Ethernet. 1 on VEOS 1 and 2. We're good with that. And then I'll move this guy down here. Create another connection from VEOS 1 to VEOS 3, 2 to 1, and good to go. So now we have a semi spine leaf architecture. I'll go ahead and power these guys up. And let's see if our devices are able to boot up. So now they're all started. Go ahead and open up a Telnet session to them. And it looks like VEOS 1 is booting up. Keep that there. Okay, it looks like it'll take a few minutes for this VEOS 1 to boot up. I'll go ahead and pause the video and come right back. So it looks like it took about two and a half minutes for this VEOS 1 device to boot up. And now we have the login prompt. I'll go ahead and log in with the username of admin. And it takes us to the user of a prompt. I'll go ahead and type enable to get us to the enable prompt. And then I'll run a show run command to see what interfaces are in this device. And it looks like our show run and our basic configurations are there. So it looks like we successfully converted the Arista VEOS VMDK image to a QCOW2 image transferred over the Aboot ISO as well as a QCOW2 image into a directory where EVNG can add this Arista device to its topology. Now we can go ahead and create topologies and test our configurations in EVNG. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and add HPE's VSR1000 into the EVNG network simulator so we can use that device in our network topologies. I hope you enjoyed this clip cast on adding Arista device images to EVNG's network simulator, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.